welcome to our October sub box vlog. Um, on this vlog, I'm basically making the sub box and going through all the steps needed. That's Illustrator, that's the program that we use to create our artwork and our cut lines. And as you can see, I'm sending the uh, black design over to our laser so that it prints on top of our artwork and this laser enables us to foil and add pretty uh, designs with the foil on our kits. This is the foil that we used. It's I love it. It's just super festive and it just seemed to go really well with the kit considering October is our birthday month. And this is a stack of unfoiled and foiled to the right. And those are the sheets of foil that I cut up. And those are the bins I use to separate the pages. So this is what we use to foil. And this is a foil sheet that I did. I love the sound of peeling off the foil from the stickers, it's so satisfying. So you can see that the foil was picked up on the clear spots. And here's the outcome. Super sparkly and festive. I always make sure to check the sheets to make sure there's no boo-boos. And then this is our big cutting machine that we use to batch cut orders. And that's the catch tray for when it's done cutting. This machine is pretty loud, so you'll hear it throughout the video. And on the other side is the tray where I load all the papers, and that's the touch screen. And again, I'm gonna foil another page. So I just take the foil sheet that I cut it and that I cut and lay it um, upside down. And then I place the sticker sheet face down against the foil. Super important to make sure there's no like flyaways or anything like that that could disrupt the foil um, adhesing to the laser. And then I put it through our laminator machine. And this machine is a little bit of a dinosaur. So sometimes it hiccups. So as you can see here, it's it started feeding it through, but then it stopped, so I have to click the arrow every now and then to kind of kickstart it to start running again. Cutting some more foil. I make, I like batch cut them and put it in a pile so that I can quickly just grab one and foil. This is our new Epson printer that we're trying out. Super snazzy. And those are the ink that come with it. It's different from other printers because you actually have to like fill the ink. I'll show you later. And then after each sheet is cut, I go through them and test to make sure that the cup, the cut depth is correct because every now and then either the blade will dull or it'll accidentally just get pushed back. So I make sure to go through and check that before I foil each page. And this is me punching out the pages, the sheets from the page. Super satisfying. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, so I'm going to show you how I refill the ink. So I find the lever that has the color that I'm refilling and I push it up and then I have to take the ink bottle and flip it upside down. There's that nozzle, the special nozzle that attaches to it and it, the ink won't come out until it's attached correctly. And you can see me struggling <laughs> trying to attach it. Takes me a few tries, but don't worry, I end up getting it. <laughs> And then it shows as it fills too, so that's also satisfying compared to other printers when you just pop in the, uh, the cartridge. And you can also see the levels on the printer actually instead of having to look on the display screen. Some more foil. I just love this sheet. I'm in love with it. This is another shot of me adding the laser to the pages before I cut the pages and foil them. I always have to make sure that it's all lined up because sometimes it can get skewed off a little bit. And then this is the cutting machine's blade and I actually had to adjust the blade because something happened to where the blade wasn't cutting deep enough, so I have to unhinge it from that lever slot. And then, as you can see, the blade is inside. I push that plunger, and I have to unscrew the gold piece that locks the blade, so sometimes that comes loose and causes the blade to shift. And then I use the silver lever to change how far out the blade is from the inside. And here is a machine working its magic. And here's another shot of me just punching out the pages. So I'll just let you listen to the ASMR. Okay, here are our washies that came in from China. We love washi day, seeing the design on actual washies. Super satisfying, and that's the when we get our washi, that's when we sneak it to you guys for the box on our Instagram. So cute having Boo on our washi. And then this is the boo pin that we added special for the for our shop birthday. And then some quarter sheets off to the side. We were setting these out so that we can um, organize and stuff for when we pack boxes. And I also just wanted to show you guys. That's our monthly sheet. I adore the bookshelf. And then this is the cardboard that we put in to make sure that the uh, box stays sturdy and protected. And this is the uh, envelope that we use to put the subs in. And this is our filing system for everything that we put in the boxes to keep things organized as we pack. And the priority mailers. And here are some pre-packaged uh, sub boxes that still need to be, that still need to have the monthlies put in, as well as the the thank you card. 
we put the monthlies in last just because everyone people choose different sizes and we want to make sure to correlate the size with the correct shipping label thank you for seven years everyone Thank you for following our shop and helping support us. And here are the monthlies that we separated out.